A lot of times you might be required to create an approval process flow diagram, which would show how requester can submit procurement request and then how request will get approved and executed. In this tutorial, we will first review how this type of diagram may look like, and then I'll show you step by step how you can create this type of diagram using Microsoft Visio 2019. Main objective for procurement request approval process is to document how organization purchases items from external providers. It starts with the requester documenting the business need, submitting the request, and supervisor reviewing the request. If supervisor approves the request, requester creates the purchase order, and procurement department completes the purchase. If supervisor decides not to approve the request, then it ends here. But sometimes supervisor may also need additional information. And then it goes back to requester documenting the business need and following the process again. To create procurement process approval workflow, we will use business process management notation, BPMN. So we will search for the template for BPMN diagram. And once template is created, we'll start by, cre by creation of the swim lane. So I selected the swim lane in the list of stencils in Visio and added the new swim lane for the requester. As a first step, we will bring in the start symbol into the diagram and we will call it a start. Next step, as you can see, Visio allows us to uh, use this triangle to add additional shapes and we will add an activity shape and we will call it submit request. As I develop diagram, I might recall some additional details that I would like to add. So I'm going to zoom in um, using the zooming feature inside Visio, and I am going to add an additional step before submitting the request, which would be a uh, document business need. So to do that, I will uh, drag this shape a little bit to the right, copy and paste this shape. I'm going to uh, enable the home ribbon and uh, select this shape and click copy. Then I'm going to click paste which will create a replica of this shape. And then I'm going to drag it right on the line and Visio automatically inserted it in between start and submit request. I am going to call this shape document business need. Next step would be for manager or direct supervisor to approve this request. To reflect this in the diagram, I'm going to drag another swim lane here and connect it to existing swim lane. Couple things happen here. Now Visio determined that we have multi swim lane diagram, so it added a title. So we can call our diagram procurement request approval process. To do that, I'm going to type on title and type procurement request approval process. And I was adding the supervisor swim lane, so I'm going to rename this as well. Once request is submitted, the next step is for supervisor to review the request. To do that, I am going to click on the triangle and add an activity in Supervisor Swim Lane. So first step is to review the request. Next step, Supervisor needs to make a decision, approve or deny request. To do that, we will add a, a diamond here on the diagram. And here we will say approve. Question mark to indicate that this is a decision point. There are at least two outputs from the approval decision. The first output is when we will say, yes, I will approve the decision. And this means that we will add an additional task back to the requester. For example, the task might be create purchase order, PO. If supervisor makes a decision not to approve uh, the request, then this will end the process. So we will type end here. There is also an additional possibility. Supervisor may need more information. To reflect that, we will click the connector and we will draw a line from approved decision box back to the document business need. And we will call it more information needed. To do that, we'll switch back to the pointer tool, double click on the line and we'll type more information needed. It probably makes sense to expand the swim lane a little bit to allow for more room. Now let's continue our procurement request approval process in Visio. To do that, we need to add an additional swim lane for procurement department. I added and dragged the additional swim lane and now I'm going to call it procurement. Next step in the process would be to add additional activity box and we will call it complete purchase. 
By default, the box was created in the requester swim lane. We are going to drag it into the procurement swim lane. And it makes sense to change how the line is connected so the lines are not crossing. Since this is the last step in the process, we will complete it with the AND symbol. Let's make our diagram look a little bit prettier. To do that, let's navigate to the Design tab, and there are a lot of themes option we can choose from. So you can choose the theme option that's more, most appealing for you. You can also choose from the list of variants for the particular theme. If you found this content valuable, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and share with your friends to help them learn faster. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.